what? I'm actually kind of not expecting a Leroy top 8. I trust that there will be more character diversity than that. Hey, what's up, Kongbe Drop Chris? Hopefully they nerf him sometime this week. Yeah, because it will be hopefully before EVO Japan. The, my original thinking was that they would nerf Leroy after EVO Japan because I didn't think they would be able to do it in that much time. Like, EVO Japan so close, I was like, you have to do so much shit in such a sh short amount of time. But maybe they can. I thought they would uh, wait till after EVO Japan and then whoa! Whoa, I don't know if you guys saw that, but, <laughs> but anyways, I thought it would wait until after EVO Japan. What the fuck? Dude, my game is like glitching out like shit today. I thought it would wait until after EVO Japan. And then maybe... Nerf him before the tour starts. Because I thought they were like, okay, you know what, EVO Japan's one taunt. I need to fucking... To give people some time to prep. Yeah, that looks trippy, right? That's fucked up. Anyways, I, I thought they would not be able to nerf him by EVO Japan, so I thought they'll wait till EVO Japan's over. That's one tournament to see how Leroy does. Because we haven't had a major tournament with Leroy. We've had a lot of small tournaments, but not a major one. I guess OSL counted, right? But that's not really an international. That's more of just a Korean tournament. So I thought they would nerf him be because the tour, the technical tour usually starts by around April of the year, so usually after around the first quarter of the year, which is what I thought would happen. But if they do nerf him before EVO Japan, that would be pretty tight. But I just, I'm just, i just wondering how do you change this character? Because he has a lot of his stuff is really good, so how do you change him such that he's uh, not fundamentally different? They need to nerf this move, oh wait, this move obviously. They need to nerf the tracking of this. This probably needs to be more minus on block. What else about Leroy? This probably needs to be less than plus 8, right? Actually, no. Delete? Oh boy. You know what? I don't mind. I want them to remove uh, the cane. I think it's too stupid. The cane is too dumb. Fix his OP tracking. Yeah, his tracking is crazy good. Even his like downfall 1 needs to be sidewalked by most characters. Which most characters you need to be. R44 should be 7 to 9. I think if they make it 6, it'll be quite okay. Even though it's faster, it's still it's still worse f on whiff. So I'm okay with that. Make as highs that should not jail. Wait, make as highs that j shouldn't jail, not jail. Like 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. I don't know how I feel about that one. Down for 1, change to minus 2 or minus 3. I agree with that. Uh, totally agree with that. The thing is, a change like that doesn't really make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Look at Kazumi. She got her downfall 1 change from minus 1 to minus 3. What good did that do? Nothing. Nobody, nobody gave a shit. But yes, they should change that. I think they need to tune a 1-1 one, one into 1 plus 2. They need to make uh, this more than minus 10 for sure. This is fucked up. This move is fucked up. And they need to make it only natural... Wait. How would they change this move? Minus 12. You think it's minus 12 is good? 13 would be pretty fair, right? Here's the thing though. That's not the big issue, right? Because people are also scared of... Oops. People are scared of the finishing string. That's what they're scared of. Down 2-3. What, you mean down 2-4? Last hit launch punishable? No. I disagree with that. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, strings, there's a lot of low strings like this, and none of them are like minus 15, they're all like minus 14. I think minus 14 would be fair. Minus 15 would be too much. I think minus 14 is fair. Minus 12 is, m sorry, minus 11's fucked up though. Minus 11's hella good. Why would you not finish this? Minus 11's barely anything. Unless you're playing against Leia or something. His parry should parry everything. It does parry everything, or at least it parries almost everything. As a Noctis player, I'm not used to my shit getting parried, but I got my sh shit parried so much <laughs> the other day. Uh, make his parry slightly easier to whiff? It does recover quite fast. I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> I managed to whiff punish a couple of parries, but yeah. The thing about it is that Noctis's parry is so so bad on whiff. Like he recovers so fucking slow. This one recovers way faster than that. Jin is a Jin has an auto block. Shouldn't parry knees, elbows, or shoulders. Can you parry a taunt? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I think you can, but for the fuck of it, I'm gonna try. Dude, the range of the taunt is so bad. Oh, you can. You can. You can parry the taunt. Okay, how do you... Oh, wow, the parry window is hell a bit. Wow, it's... Okay, they need to reduce the parry window. I don't know if that's a parry. No, that's not a... Uh, yeah, that's not a punish. So, the taunt recovers too fast, I think, for it to parry it. Because I think it will register as a punish, right? Yeah, it will register as a punish. So you can't punish with you can't taunt punish the punish the taunt, but still. The, okay, I need I I think I can see. I think I can see what 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 they can do. First off, they can make this recover a few frames slower on whiff. They need to reduce the parry window because it's way too big. It's bigger than Noctis's, it's bigger than Jin's, and it recovers still pretty fast. Jin's has an auto block, but his his parry window is not super big, and Noctis's parry recovers super fucking slow on whiff. So they need to reduce the parry parry window by a little bit. I think it's fine parrying with everything. I think it's okay. They just need to make this a bit tighter. Because otherwise, then it's kind of dumb. You can just keep matching this and sometimes you'll just get a parry. Parry is really stupid. If you get a parry, it should be a read. Yeah, that's why I'm saying this. the window should be smaller. That's that's my thoughts. I don't know what you guys think. Bigger punish window and smaller parry window. That's what I'm saying. Orbital? Uh, first things first, I think they need to nerf the tracking of this. This has a bit of tracking. Yeah, it's super easy to whip punish. So, I'm okay with it being minus 5 or minus 6 on block. And I'm okay with the speed. Because this... Because this... Uh, is, is recovers slower than any of the other orbitals on whiff. So I'm okay with the speed. They just need to make sure it's not fucking... Whatever it is. What? Minus 3? Yeah, minus 3, right? On block. And they also need to nerf his combo damage. Look at this shit. Minus nine? No, I don't. I don't agree with that. I think minus five to minus six is okay. They need to nerf down three two damage. How much damage does it do? Twenty four. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe bring it out to twenty at most. I don't think that's uh something that. <coughs> See, I need I need something that's actually a fundamental change, you know. But I think that's okay because this is using combos, right, for, for the screw. I don't know how much combo damage that will reduce, but yeah. What else? What else about this character is dumb? The thing about this character is that when he enters Hermit, even when he enters it at minus frames, so like let's say you block like a bloody downfall 1-4, right? Even when he's at minus 6, you're still scared to push a button, because if he does Hermit 1, right, which is a parry by itself, uh, even if you do a jab, He'll parry that shit, even at minus 6, and the pa and Hermit 1 is like fucking 24 frames. So he'll come out in 30 frames while he still parries a jab. Like, that's pretty nonsensical. <laughs> Leroy is... <laughs> I mean, like, everyone's trying to enjoy Leroy while before he's getting nerfed, right, in tournament. I just think this character does too much damage. Also. I, but I don't know what damage. Yeah, down 3-2, changing to like 20 damage is okay, but that's not really... Ah, uh, this character's dumb. <laughs> what a cheap character. You know, like, uh, usually I'm so used to being able to, like, when Asuka does a parry or whatever, I can just down for it too with Noctis. Because she can't parry weapons. With Jin, well, if he does that, he has an auto block, so I just don't do anything. <clears throat> this guy, 
This guy parries all my weapons. I can do, I, like, I'll do running 1 plus 2 and he'll parry the running 1 plus 2. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. That parry is so gormless. Hey, what's the high damage staple? If any of you know, obviously. What is it? Is it something like that? But how do you get it down to 4? Oh, it's something like that, right? I actually really- I'm one of the few people that actually really likes- Really likes Season 3. I think there's only a few problems, but for the most part, I think Season 3 is great. I know everyone's complaining about too good wall carry, too good damage, but I don't know. I like Season 3 a lot. Are you aware of the combo you can do while in Hermit? Wait, are you aware of the combo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the wall combo? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it does a shitload of damage. I don't know how they would tune that. They'll probably have to make uh, this recover slower. So that the... How do you do it? Yeah, this is not possible. Yeah, I'm aware of it. It's too much. It does a shitload. There we go. Got it. Okay, thanks. So how much damage did that do? I didn't even see. 76 plus 25 is... Jesus! That's like 100 plus damage. Wow, this does a shitload. They also need to nerf the hitbox of his downfall 1. I don't know if you've seen, and they also need to reduce the frames where he like fucking high crushes. I don't know if you've seen that Twitter video, but it's uh, basically Jack. Like a lot of his high stuff will go under the downfall one. Have you tried doing the 4 for 3 combo? No, I actually don't even know what that combo is. The only thing I do that I know you can do is that, but I, I know you can get a co full combo, but I just don't know what it is. Dash, down forward, 3, 1. Oops. Huh. Whoa. Okay. It's kind of finicky to work with. Whoa! Okay, I got it. Wow, that's good. That's hella good. Does it work on all hitboxes though? That's what I want to know. Or is this one of those things that maybe works on female characters, sometimes not? Because I don't know how consistent this is. I mean, I don't play Leroy, so... But this is good. This is hella good. I'm trying to see if sidestepping makes it more consistent. Okay, sidestep... <laughs> it seems like sidestep left Makes it consistent though. Doesn't work on all hitboxes. Okay, I got you. Yeah, this is good. This move itself is already so good. The fact that it's a homing move. Uh, what else about Leroy is fucking stupid? I mean, a lot, of, a lot about this character is stupid, but oh, this this stupid move. Why? How did I forget this? This move is shit. This move is hella cheap. Down back one. High crush. It's what, 16 frames fast? It's pretty damn fast. This shit is unparryable if you do the second, if you do the high. This shit is safe. This needs to be minus 13. I can't believe this is a safe move. It's ridiculous how good this is. This move has killed so many people. And this. This is neutral on block? Down back one is a fucked up move. Back four? So, the reason why they don't use back four is because it's so hard to step this guy in the first place. So there's no reason to ever use this homing move because all of his moves have like random or really good tracking. This shit tracks both ways. You can't step this move, which is absolutely ridiculous. His downfall one tracks to both sides and you have to sidewalk it to avoid it. You have to sidewalk it to the right. 
I think. Yep, basically this character tracks a lot. If you do 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, if you try and step the 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, uh, the second hit will get catch you. The first one you can step, the second one will catch you. And it's very hard to interrupt. So there's never a reason to bother using back 4. This is a great homing move, but there's no reason to fucking use it. Because it's, it's kind of useless. <laughs> when he's got so many other good tracking tools. He'd be OP. Wow, that's so good. That's such a good combo. There's a lot about this character that's stupid. This needs to have its tracking reduced. I'm okay with it being natural combo, because there's no Oki afterwards. Look at how far away they are. I'm okay with it. 32 damage is fine. Is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 jails? Yeah, I know that. But, uh, that's not... <laughs> that's not a really big deal for me. It does a lot of damage, though. Which I know a lot of people don't like. <laughs> but, I'm okay with it. Because, like, some characters get launches at 14 frames. And this has kind of okay range only. It's not that amazing range. I just think his orbital needs to be changed. His health sweep needs to be changed. The frames on this needs to be changed, the hitbox of this needs to be changed as well. I just hate how easy it is to throw out and conf hit confirm. I think the one that's really annoying to deal with that is super easy to hit confirm is the 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one is super easy to hit confirm. 1-1, one, 1-2. One, one yeah, this move is fucked up. 1-1, one, 1-2. One, one yeah, this move is fucked up. Some people say it's but it's good if they make some stuff less hit confirmable. Maybe. This pro this definitely needs to change though, 1-1. One, 1-1's one. One, one's really good. I've seen 1-1 one, one kill so many people. I've seen down back 1 kill so many people. Down back 1 is fucked up too. I think this is one of his most fucked up moves. His parry needs to be changed. Down for 1 plus 2. Oh shit. Oh, down 1 plus 2. Yes! Yes, I forgot about this. Thanks for reminding me. This should definitely not force crouch. This should hella not force crouch. This is fucked up. This move is so fucked up. Because you have to sidestep this to the right. So, assuming you are playing on the other side. So, assuming you're playing on uh, this side. You can't step the other way. Because you'll get hit. If you try and sidestep uh, left, you'll get hit by this. And you can't step, step right because you're in crouch. So this needs to not force crouch because it's fucked up. And it's neutral, yeah. So it's... This move may as well be plus. This move is fucked up. This is a sh stupid good move. And it co counter hit launches as well, so... <laughs> Yeah, this move is... This needs to not be delayable. Oh, yeah. If they remove the delay off of this, I think you can't get uh, the unscaled damage. Yeah, okay, yeah. So if they should make this non-delayable, I think. Because the fact that you can delay it is what makes the combo damage of without walls so high. Because the second hit will be unscaled, and it will not register on the combo counter. So if they make this non-delayable, I think it will be good. And if they make it minus 14, that will also be quite good. Actually, it's not really that many changes, right? How many did I ask for? <laughs> what moves in Hermit need to be changed? Hermit back 4. Homing move. Counter hit launcher, right? Is it? Holy shit, you can. <laughs> wow. It didn't look like it initially, that's why I was like, can you? But, that's pretty good. How minus is this on block? 13? Wow, it's pretty good. I don't think minus 15 is fair, but minus 14 seems fair. Counter launcher and homing move? It's pretty good. I would make that minus 14. I'm okay with the, if, if it's changed to minus 14. I know not every character can 
make use of minus 14, but I think that would be quite fair. It counted launches, really? <laughs> I don't know how to combo off of this. Yeah, but that's pretty good. Wow, I didn't know it counted launches as well. Yeah, it should be minus even though it's a high, for sure. That's pretty good. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> I just did that, except uh, if you add in more downfall ones, that works as well. You can do dash downfall ones. Yeah, the the dash downfall ones thing is, is stupid, because downfall one is such a big hitbox, they need to nerf that. <laughs> didn't even know you could do multiple. Yeah, I know. I heard about that from Twitter. Yeah, you have to dash though. Yeah, it's hard to do sometimes if you're trying to fit in a lot. But three is quite easy actually. It's actually really easy to do. Back three is like pretty good move too. <laughs> Minus six is all right. Eighteen frames fast. But I don't think back three needs to be changed. Yeah, this is one of those moves that I, I think is okay keeping. It's like a good whiff punisher, that's for sure. Cause it's got pretty decent range, right? Uh, yeah, it's got pretty decent range. This character's good. <clears throat> but I ended up I initially really wanted to main him. Uh before he came out. But after I played him a little bit, I was like, eh, he's cool. Just not for me. So I ended up not maining him. And I went back to not this. Yeah, so 